Do you want to watch an anime about some space cowboys traveling the universe, collecting bounties, going on crazy adventures, meeting old friends, and making new ones along the way? Well, we got the anime just for you. What's up guys, I'm Christina. And I'm Chris. And welcome to Average Anime Reviews, where we get to be reviewing some of our favorite animes that we have watched in the previous season. Now before we get started guys, just so you guys know, there's going to be minor spoilers in this review, so please take some precaution. And for this week's anime review, we get to be reviewing Cowboy Bebop. And this was recommended by my good friend from Scorpion Slayer 66. And what this anime is all about, it involves a group of intergalactical bounty hunters catching criminals while getting rewards. And their source of information comes from a TV show, where it basically has a western cowboy type of theme. And like I said previously, whichever bounty hunter can get towards the criminals first will be rewarded for their hard work. And with this anime, it contains flashbacks and even some origins of, for some of the main characters. In some cases for the main characters, it'll be considered as closure for them. And looking back on it, well, you can see that they're better off in towards where they are currently right now. And they don't regret a thing. Even though there's action and crime fighting scenes somewhere in the universe, in this anime, there's also some comedic relief too. And it's very interesting as we further discuss in this anime. And considering how humanity is spread out across the universe, well, let's just say that later on in the anime, you get you guys get to see what happened to it and basically inferred why it has become like that. Now, what do I think about this anime? Well, even though it's really cool considering there's action crime fighting scenes and some comedic relief, well, let's just say that there's really no progression. And what I mean by that is, well, it's only because behind the 26 episodes of Cowboy Bebop, it's mainly episodic adventures. Just mainly for the team of bounty hunters trying to go on with their daily lives, trying to get their bounties and get rewarded wherever they can. But at least what I can give them is the subplot for the main characters. Now there are some episodes in this anime where it does talk about some of the characters past. Now even though it doesn't really go a lot of information and more details about it, at least I give them that because it's really interesting to see and gives me more opportunities to watch this anime. Now in this anime there are four characters that are shown throughout the series and are focused on. But we're going to start off with the main character, the one and only Spike. Now Spike is a badass character that takes things head on without taking any precautions. But as well Spike has a heart. A lot of the times in the series, he puts his heart over the money, and that's pretty shocking for bounty hunters. And that ends up with a lot of the episodes with him not getting any money at all. And also, he hates three things. Pets, kids, and women with attitude. And sadly, all those things are in this anime and gives Spike a hard time. And the next character we're going to be talking about is Jet. He's the pilot of the Bebop. He's a chef. He used to be a cop, but now is a bounty hunter. He's usually the one that organizes everything and finds out what bounty to go after. He has a very tough attitude. He has a cybernetic arm, which you will know why he has in the anime. In some cases, he does the same thing what Spike does. He puts his heart over the bounty. It's weird that these bounty hunters are really badass. They can do crazy things, but their one weakness is having a heart. And well, that causes them not to be able to eat for a couple of days or two, but also shows that they're human as well. So that's what makes them super awesome bounty hunters. And the next character we're going to talk about is the one and only badass voluptuous. One of the best female characters in the anime, Faye Valentine. Now she's a very sarcastic person, she's tough, and as I mentioned with the other two bounty hunters, she has a heart as well. And also she has a gambling addiction. The moment when she gets some money, she goes off to the racetrack and bets it all, and then she loses it, and then she goes back into the bebop. Hopefully they'll give her some money, and continues on whatever she does, which includes shopping and screwing around with Spike and Jet. And the last character I'm going to tell you about is Edward. 
Now, Edward is a very peculiar character. She's a hacker who can hack into any ship and pretty much have it at her control, which is pretty funny because she just treats it as a RC plane and then she doesn't realize that there's people in it. And I don't know, it just makes the encounter very funny when she does it. She's a very outgoing and odd character. She's never sad. She always has a positive attitude in everything. And one little thing I notice about her is that, well, she likes to talk to herself in a third person, which is just really interesting because I've never seen somebody talk like that in an anime. Now there are other characters like Ein the dog, which honestly is one of the best dogs ever because, well, he's a corgi and, well, the, the one episode dedicated to Edward and Ein, where they're searching for mu the mushroom thief, well, I thought that was one of the best episodes in the series. And you also got this evil character named Vicious, who's just pretty much evil as hell. He goes at people with a sword and he just takes out the enemy or just whoever gets in his way. And he obviously has a huge issue with Spike throughout the anime. Now overall, with all the characters, they all are pretty cool. Issues that I had is that you didn't really know a lot about Vicious. I wish they could have told more about his backstory. Maybe had a couple episodes dedicated to him. Maybe having him go on a bounty. And overall the characters. They all are pretty good. I'm glad that they gave almost everybody a backstory. I would have liked to know more about what Faye's past was. And I wish they could have talked a little bit more about Spike before he was a bounty hunter and when he was part of the Syndicate. As well as Jet, maybe they could have had a whole entire flashback episode on how he lost his arm. They do highlight what happens to it, but I feel like they could have talked more about him and why he left the Force and became a bounty hunter. And just in general of all four characters, they could have told a little bit more of why they became bounty hunters. And as well, I love how all the characters interact with each other. They all act like a dysfunctional family. They may hate each other at some moments. They might argue. They might steal the last remaining rations in the ship, but they still care for each other. It may not look like it, but they obviously do care about each other. What I liked about it is that they laid out their origin stories throughout the entire series and not just episode after episode. They just told a story about each other like who they were before which is good because it keeps you wanting to watch the series and wanting to learn more about the character. Now in terms of the episodes this was a 26 episode series I know there's a movie which we'll probably watch after this. I thought a lot of the episodes were pretty good. Some of my favorite episodes were just the origin stories of who the characters were were really interesting. I wish they could have talked more about Faye's past because her past I feel like is the most interesting. They do some flashbacks like stills here and there but I wish they could have had a full episode just telling her entire story. And as I mentioned my other favorite episode is when Edward and I go on a mission to catch that mushroom thief as well as the episode where there's this weird alien s specimen that's in their ship and it's getting everybody sick. It kind of reminded me of the movie Alien. If you know what I mean, there's an alien in the ship and they're just taking out each member of the crew one by one. I felt that that was one of my favorite episodes because in the end, well, let's just say Edward pretty much makes the episode hilarious. And my last favorite episode is when Faye gets a Betamax tape in the mail and Spike and Jet go on a journey to the ruins of Earth to find a Betamax player and they end up with something else which was pretty hilarious. Now in terms of my favorite episodes of Cowboy Bebop. Now actually there are a couple but one I would love to mention is basically this took place earlier in the series. Basically in this episode while Spike and Jet are trying to catch the bad guy well, let's just say in this episode when the animals have escaped in the pet store, well, let's just say there are all kinds of animals that came out. You have every other animal that you would see on Earth, but this time it's in space. Everything from cats and dogs and lizards and snakes. And 
even the ostrich or two. And when I saw that ostrich, I was like, oh, why is an ostrich doing there in outer space? And one of the episodes that I love watching, especially that I would also like to mention, it's basically this involves with Jet's past with one of his old friends. This involves with Jet's old friend's daughter in search of her father. And then when there are all kinds of clues that leading up towards finding the father, well, let's just say that apparently Jet has some kind of involvement in it. And it's very interesting. And it's just really cool to see how the world works in their point of view. It's quite an amazing thing to watch. And overall, what did I think about the anime? Well, I thought it was good. Now, does it live up to its name where people say it's one of the best animes of all time? Well, I don't really think so. Because honestly, I've seen so much anime that this is just pretty much an average anime for me. But it is still a good anime. The main issue that I had with it is that it had no plot. It had subplots. I felt like they could have spread out the plot a little bit more between Spike and Visions throughout the entire series instead of a few episodes here and there. And I wish they could have told more about the past of what happened to Earth. They do mention it a little bit, but I felt like they could have had an episode dedicated just to that. While watching this, I kind of compared it to Trigun, and if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend it. it they're pretty much the opposites, where Cowboy Bebop is bounty hunters looking for criminals and collecting bounties. Where to as Trigun, it's the opposite, where he's running away from people trying to collect his bounty on his head. And one thing's for sure, what I can guarantee is that that intro is one of the best intros I, I've ever watched. The music is perfect. It makes you think that you're in a spy movie. And, and lastly, there's one thing I did not like at all. And that's where near the end, there's a character that's introduced and what happens to him was completely pointless. Now out of 10, what did you give the story? I would say with the storyline and the plot, I would give it a 7. For me, the plot, I feel like it could have been done a little bit better, but I still liked it, but I'm going to have to give it a 6. Now overall, what did you think of the characters? What would you rate them? Well, with the characters, they're really cool to watch, even though they're cool fighting scenes and they're pretty funny too. Especially Ayn, who's really cute. I would also love to give it a 7. For me... The characters were the best thing in the show, and I would have to give it a 9. Now the opening, now what did you think of the opening? Actually with the opening, it's really cool and interesting. As Christopher mentioned, it's kind of like a spy movie. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of 007 in a way. So with that in mind, I would have to give it an 8. Well, I really like the intro. It's really catchy and it's really easy to memorize. I can see why people really like the series for the intro, and I would have to give it an 8 as well. Now overall, what would you rate the experience watching this anime? Did it live up to its name? Actually, that's a very good question because, as you said, we watched a lot of animes, so it's kind of a bittersweet feeling for me because, yes, it's a really good anime, however, there's, there's a lot of improvements that needed to be worked on. And there's a lot of parts in the anime they're, they're kind of salty and very sad for me, especially towards the end. And for that, I would have to say I would have to give a rating between a 7 or a 7.5. For me, the experience was pretty good. I liked it. Just seeing all the different endeavors that they go through makes it really interesting. And what each character goes through throughout the anime is pretty cool as well. And I would have to give it a 7. If you watched the anime, let us know what you thought about the anime. What was your favorite episode? Do you think it's one of the best animes of all time? Whatever you want to say, just let us know down in the comments below. And if you want to watch the anime for yourself, we'll be sure to leave a link down below for you to watch. And also don't forget in the description, it also contains the synopsis, more information about the main characters, and a written anime review written by me. And overall, that's pretty much everybody. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next anime review. Take care. Bye!
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's Average Anime Review. If you guys really enjoyed this week's anime review, then click that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more anime reviews, then click that subscribe button down below. If you guys are new and want to see more anime reviews that we've done in the past, then click on the links on the left. And once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great day and take care.